Hello and welcome. We are going to do a live stream today to celebrate the launch of our new products that just debuted on Black Friday. Um, if you're completely new, my name is Emma Lou, and we're just going to have some fun together today. If you're joining us again, welcome back. For my U.S. friends, did you have a good Thanksgiving with your friends and family? If you see any crumbs on my face, that's the last pieces of the pumpkin pie that we had. My mom makes the most delicious pumpkin pie. In fact, she shared the uh, recipe with you on Facebook yesterday. So if you didn't see that yet, you'll want to check that out. Um, we're, me, you and I are just going to have some fun learning how to use these new products together. Have you been on the website yet this morning? Um, one of the uh, products that has been the most popular has been the classic Border Basics and the Delicate Border Basics die. Um, those come in a bundle with our fold-out cards and those have been so much fun. I've been playing with these the past couple months. There's so much versatility and you can do so many fun things with it. So I'm going to share some of my favorite techniques. Before we get started, you'll see a chat bar on the side. You can introduce yourselves, tell us where you're from. And at the very end, I'm going to be reading off some of your emails, your questions. You can tell us um, which when are your favorite products, what you like about them, or if you have a story you'd like to share on what crafting does for you, you can email that to studio at heartfeltcreations.us and that will give you and I a chance to just kind of interact and have some fun together. So we're going to do this for about an hour-ish, if you know what that kind of means. So to get started, we're going to sh um, teach you how to kind of pair these dies together. There are four dies within the Border Basics bundle set. So these are the first two. When you look at these, you'll see that the kind of the wave or the ripple is the same. So these two dies are what I say, they're kind of like married together. Um, so the classic border and the delicate border die those pair together. So those are the two that we're going to create with first and then we'll go to the other two. Um, so if you look at this sheet, these are all the different ways you can cut those borders. Isn't that amazing? And this is just the start of what you can really do with these border dies. So there's a huge potential, a lot of versatility, and as you can see, there's so many different ways that you can pair these together to have some fun. So to get started, what I did is I like to use multiple uh, dies together. So I chose three different dies. Now one thing that's very important to notice is there's a die that has like this clear straight edge line. That is your basic number one die you want to choose. So I selected that one because I wanted it to cut off the paper edge. And then the next one I believe I chose the, the stitched one which is this one right here. And then I chose the very decorative one. So we're going to go ahead and run that through and you'll see um, that fancy border all cut out. So you can choose as many dies as you would like uh, to run through to create that beautiful decorative um, die edge. So think about it for the edges of cards. You could do multiple layers. Um, it's a lot of fun to just experiment with those different kinds. So one more press and it's all done and through. So these dies, when you're running them through the machine, I like to run them through lengthwise. See all that beautiful detail cut. So you'll uh, pull off this piece, put that aside, and then you can just remove that from the die and you can flake off all of these different pieces. Isn't that beautiful? So think about this on say the edge of a card um, and there's another piece that would also remove this um, bottom edge as well if you wanted to. So there's a lot of different ways you can work these together. Um, so you'll see that this border piece would actually remove this entire cut from the baseline too. So lots of different options. Um, so we'll show you again just the different ways um, that this specific border die can be used. So this is the classic border basics. So if you're looking at the, this is the very first basic die that I would work with. And then you can pair that together with a delicate border basic. So these two, if you think about it, they're like married together. They fit together. You can mix and match those dies to create so many unique combinations. So if you're a paper crafter that likes that simple, elegant um, touch, you can do the, a very a delicate look like you'll see on this card. I just did some delicate uh, borders on the top. So there's lots of different ways that you can create with these border dies to get different looks. Another favorite of mine is the um, 
the second die that I was showing, which is the Delicate Border Basics. And with this one, I'll actually what I'll do is I'll show you first some of the different shapes that you can do with this one. This one has like what I call an uh, opposite one. So you have one that goes this direction and then you have the leaf that goes the opposite direction so that you can pair the two together. Um, here's another really beautiful border that's in this set. Um, this is the opposite side of this one. We'll be showing this one in just a little bit. Here's one that just cuts out from the inside of the paper. And then here's some more border basics with these. So lots of options. This is the delicate border basic style. Um, so for this one, what I did is I chose, let me just pull this out so you can see it. Um, I chose these two dies and you'll see that they arch together so you can actually do like a cut out lace piece. So we're going to go ahead and run these two together. So all you need to do is just take the two dies, pr press them together and tape them on. So those are together and that will make a beautiful, beautiful lace piece. So we'll run that through. Now if you're watching for the first time and you're maybe new to paper crafting, these dies can be used through like most manual die cutting machines. So your um, cuddle bug, your big shot. If you're concerned about sizes, we have the sizes listed for you on the website um, so that you can easily see the dimensions of your dies. So we'll just bring that out. So this is completely cut out from the paper. And this makes like that beautiful, beautiful lace strip. Isn't that pretty? You just pop out those extra pieces. It, comes off beautifully from the die. Um, let me seal it. Let's bring this um, up against a dark piece of cardstock so you can see. Um, obviously you'd want to pop all those little pieces out. Isn't that beautiful? So you can do a lot of different uh, options and different dimensions and things with that. So if you're just joining us, uh, we have some special savings for you today on the website. It is a Black Friday special only. So if you haven't shopped yet, if you're watching from our website right beneath the live stream, there's some add to cart buttons so you can get the the dies with the card fold outs that I'll be showing you in just a little bit at a special savings. These bundles are priced at 15 to 20 percent discount. And for our live stream viewers, we have a special uh, coupon code for you. When you're checking out with an order of $100 or more, you get your choice of a free paper pad. All you need to do is just put in the code free paper followed by BF. So that's B as in black, F as in Friday. So um, make sure that you enter that code so you don't miss out on the free paper pad. Um, so that's the beautiful border that you can work with as well. Um, with the die, I'm going to scoot this to the side, clean up my workspace just a little bit. Um, so this one is, here we go, the Delicate Border Basics die. And here is just some different variations of different cuts. So this is the die I just ran through. I paired this with the classic border stitching and then that straight edge die that's also in the classic border die. So lots of different options. I'm sure your mind is just spinning with all the creative options with this. So we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna show you some of my favorite samples. So we're gonna pop this over here. Um, I have some of my favorite samples from the design team members. I'm just gonna pop these up and you can um, see these. Like so for this one, um, this one is using uh, just some of the different dies. You have this thank you that comes out of the third set of dies that we have. Um, so with this one, let's pull, there's the second set of dies. So we have a total of four dies that are completely new. There's this thank you, then there's this kind of what we call our left and right arch. So there's two in this set as well. So there's the floor border basics and the elegant border basics. And these were designed so that you could create like pockets and it's like a left and a right. Um, so you'll see a lot of samples on the blog today using these dies. So within the, this is the floor border basics, there's again this straight border die. And then there's some beautiful decorative designs and there's a left and a right. So that what that means for you is you're going to be able, I'll just pull up a bunch of samples so you can see. So like this one, so you have the pocket with the decorative door border on the left. Here you have it coming down from the right. And you'll do the exact same technique that I just um, showed you with the first dies. 
these just have a different arch and together all four of these dies are going to work beautifully with your fold-out cards. We'll be getting to those in a minute. I'm so excited about those. Those are perfect for card making, for scrapbooking. Um, so this is another uh, variation of just all those dies. Those beautifully cut out, so different variations. Here's another one. Um, this is one where I just did the white panel on a card fold-out so you can kind of see how that looks, just glued on to the edge. So the scallops within these four border dies fit perfectly with the um, fold-out card. So this would be like a left and right pocket for your um, scrapbook pages if you wanted to do a scrapbook page. But here's just some more ideas with the border dies. Don't you just love the variations of these? So you can just put those aside. So if you're like a crafter that loves to do like clean and simple cards, you don't have to do a lot of dimension, yet you can get that really delicate look. Have you seen the amazing uplifting scripture stamps that we posted online? Those are beautiful, just stamped. I'll show you those in a little bit too. Here's another version um, of the die, just die cut here on the bottom and then layered with some of the roses and then another image um, from our new stamp bundle that we just launched this morning. Now uh, let me see, we'll look at some more samples. I've got some more hidden out underneath here. I wanted to show you the um, scrapbook layout as well. So you can use these for cards. But don't think about it as just one length because you can do continuous borders. So if you see here, we did that left pocket. It scooped down here and then we came in and we did the right pocket um, and did like a continuous border. So it really is beautifully, works beautifully for your scrapbooking projects as well. Um, so we're going to pop that back, show you some more samples. This is another um, option with the border dies, think about cutting it from the center of your card panels. Isn't that beautiful? So just layer multiple pieces together and have that in the center. I have that completely upside down. Here we go. And then you have the beautiful sentiment. And then decorate it with the papers on the inside. This was the classic sunflower paper. That's an all-time favorite. And then here's another card that is kind of a different, well, it has the opening in the center and then you have that happy birthday that comes out of the border dies as well. That's a nice option with that. Here's one with a left and right pocket, so you have a happy thank you. Um, you can open that, you have the pockets on the inside. And then the little froggies. A lot of you have the froggies already, so these will pair beautifully with the dies. So that just comes out. So would you like to see how to use the fold-out cards? If you haven't seen these before, these are some of my absolute favorites. So think about like if you're mailing cards or you like to to create scenes, this is a perfect way for you to create those scenes. So you can decorate the front, you can decorate the back, and your friends and family are gonna love, love this. So we're gonna put these aside and show you how to use these as well. Okay, so pop these aside. Now if you're looking at this and you're like, well, Emily, what are the fold-out cards? Um, when you look at the fold-out cards, you'll see them on the website. They are a five by seven size. There's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then there's the six by six size. So when you flip this around, what we did is we created this card base that is folded and it has those cuts in it for you already. So all you have to do is just literally do the left and right fold and layer it with paper. So it's a simple way to take your card making to a whole new level. Now a lot of these, you may be saying, but can I just make this myself? Like, do I really need to purchase the fold-out cards? You could try to, you know, make these yourself. However, um, some of these bases are like 28 inches long, some are 20 inches long. So this basically is for the individual that likes to have those pre-made card bases done, and you can create those quick and easy um, cards. So these are available in the black, white, and craft. Another thing I wanted to point out is in the 6x6 packet, we have a hidden gem in there for you. You'll notice there's this like big square and you may be asking yourself like, what is that for? I'll show you in just a little bit, but that makes like a shadow box frame. That's a beautiful uh, project, like an altered gift project, but this is kind of how the 6x6 looks in the craft color. So when you open these up in your packet, 
what you're going to get is you're going to get like a car base. This is the 5x7 that really just looks like this. So it's ready for you to decorate. Isn't that awesome? So we're, that's what we're going to show you. So let me pull out my fold-out cards and we'll show you how those work. Um, when I first looked at these, um, I was really excited because it allows me to add those quick and easy papers, add a little bit of embellishment, but it also allows me to to have the um, ability to put it in a regular envelope and send it so you don't have to uh, put it in a special box. So um, as you can see, I chose the little, the froggy paper. Many of you have that one and you love creating with it. So the winking frog paper. So when you look at your card front, um, the first thing you'll want to do is just like look at your papers and choose which ones you want to showcase um, on the card panel. So this one is the five by seven size. So I pre-cut my panels to like five, like four, four and three quarters is what I did. So I just four and three quarters. So it gives a little bit of an edge. Um, and the basic thing you need to know is just how do I cut out the papers so that they line up with the edges. Now I played with this a little bit, quite actually quite a bit, and there's a harder way to do it and then there's the easy way to do it. I'm gonna show you the easy way. So what you wanna do is when, say I wanna cover, let me see, we'll cover this panel right here. And instead of like, I'll want this piece on this side. So what I'll do, is before I lay this piece down, I'm going to take my die, and this comes from, let me see, this comes from this set. There's a left and a right, so depending on which way your arch is going, you'll choose one of those. This is from the Fleur Border Basics. So we're gonna go um, lay this down, and we'll match it with this border. So if you lay it down like this, you'll see, oh wait, that is not lining up. So you'll flip it the opposite way. And the easiest way to see if this is lining up exactly with the blade, oops, you know what? I think I may have chosen, let me see, the wrong side. So if you have the wrong side, let me grab the right side. Um, we'll bring this one down. Okay, so you have a left and a right, so I'm just gonna open this up. And you'll wanna make sure that you, let's see if this arch is going the same direction. So you'll see that those two are going in a different direction. So this is the one I'm looking for. So we'll just peel the tape off. So you may even want to label mark yours left, right, whichever is easiest for you. Um, so we'll just pop our tape down. Oops, flip this around. Okay, so there we go. See, that's a match. But to match that up, then what I'll do is I will take my die and just bump that cut blade right up to my card base and make sure that the tape is stuck well to the other side so that's hanging on to the card base. Now since I'm wanting to cover this panel, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this panel and lay it into my card base making sure that everything's lined up, straightened out and then I'll press this tape down on the side up here. Now I pull this tape off. It may not be super, super sticky anymore, but we'll make it work. So then what you'll do is you'll just pull this card base away, and then you can just run this through. So it makes it, you don't have to have a super um, large machine. Now if you are, if you don't have a machine that's wider than like six inches, these dies you'll wanna make sure they're going through lengthwise. Another trick that I like to do is I like to cut the front and back out at the same time. So to do that, I just create a sandwich. So I want this pulled standing out on the one side and I want this on the other side. So you create a sandwich with the paper that you don't want showing is gonna be on the inside. So you can line this up and you can cut out both panels at one time, which is awesome. That's a huge time saver. So basically, if your card has three different scallops, you can, in three passes through the machine, cut out all the layers, and then just cut the base layer. So very simple and easy to do. So I'll bring this out. Then you have your folds. 
I'll just bring that out, pull that away. And you have that little froggy on this side and the little winking frog on that side. Doesn't that make a beautiful scene? So without having to do much coloring or anything like that, you're going to be able to layer these down. So this one would go popped in on this side. And then this piece would keep, get popped in on this side. But before you do that, you'll want to think to yourself, like, do I want a border along the top? Uh, like a f fancy decorative border. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to add one. I cut um, this beautiful border from, let me see, that was the doo -doo -doo, the Fleur Border Basic style. Let me grab my glue. Yeah, it's in this drawer. Okay, so we're going to just add some glue to our die. Now this die is longer than my uh, card front panel. So we'll just add a little bit of glue. That may be too much or it may be too little. And let's see, we're going to add this on this side. So we'll just kind of bump that up and you'll just kind of want to make sure that you're matching it with the arch. So if you see a little bit of the paper coming out, so you'll just make sure everything's glued down. You could have also added the glue on the back side of the card panel too, if that's easier for you. Um, so this is a little bit longer. So what I'll do is I will go back and just snip that off on that side. And then we'll also trim that border down on this side as well. I like to personally trim it a little bit shorter than the craft so it lines up with the paper that we're gluing on. So your next step is just adding your glue to the back of your panel and oops this one goes on the inside so let's flip this around and glue this right on the top and you've got your border so that's this side and then you can go back add your glue on this side so a huge time saving tip is to cut out two at one time and um, You'll have that beautiful image on there just very quickly. So you've got the little froggy in there. Oops, let's pop that up a little bit. So that's kind of how you start creating that card base. So you have one of the borders coming down this direction, this one on the other side. If you use a two-sided paper, you'll have two different colors on both sides, which is really pretty. So that's kind of the basics, and then you can layer it up, or you could keep it very simple if you wanted a more simple um, project. So. Um, let's go ahead and give you a glimpse of some of the samples that the design team has been creating with to give you some different varied options of what you can work with. So this one is just a beautiful Christmas scene. Um, one, of the, one of my tips for these layers that are a little bit narrower, especially on the A2 size cards, I don't like to add too much um, weight to this panel because it's not as strong as some of the larger panels. So um, that's one tip that I have with that. Here's another little scene and you just open that up and you've got a beautiful Christmas scene. So if you're doing Christmas cards you could even add photos to these. That would be a great way um, to create with with those as well. So um, some more cards. We have a bunch of them to, to show you today. This is one I love too. This one is just using some more neutral papers with a darker border. And then you've got some beautiful flowers. Stamp the little um, uplifting stamps in there. So you've got this one. Uh-oh, uh -oh, we have a card in here that's a sneak peek of what's coming in December. <laughs> some of you have already spotted these sneak peeks and are loving them. So this is another one, just a beautiful scenic card. So think like the guys in your life that you're looking for that perfect card. This just tells a beautiful, beautiful story. Here's another one with the little froggies. Um, that one just kind of flips open. So this one, they glued some of the panels shut. So you have that option as well. So you can really add all the dimension you like, or you can kind of glue some of those panels together so that you have um, a little bit more of a dimensional layering. You can also go all out and create like a little winter wonderland. So this one using the gate, the little snowman, the trees, doesn't that just look like a little winter wonderland. Do any of you already have snow? So if you're just joining us, um, welcome. You can introduce yourself. Let us know where you're from. And we'd love to hear from you. You can put down your name and where you're from on the side chat there. Um, we'd also like to hear from you. You can email us at studio at heartfeltcreations.us. And at the end of the live stream, I'm going to go back and 
just share and answer some of your questions you have or if you'd like to share a story of what crafting has done for you I would love to read that off or if you see the products I'd love to hear what's your favorite and why like what you like about it so I'd love to hear that as well so we'll be reading off and answering those questions at the very end so make sure that um, you do that before like um, 12 uh, let me see 145 right we're on Easter time um, here's another beautiful card which is the borders this one actually just came in um, in the past hour from design team member Candy, she added um, the beautiful sentiment with the roses on this one. Um, and before, like this one is just a really beautiful card with the roses as well. I wanted to show you and the shadow box. Let's not forget the shadow box. Um, the shadow box is really beautiful. I have a couple different samples of that one um, with the shadow box that is in your six by six pack. So if you're getting the bundle today, you are getting the cards in the craft white and black. So you're getting three of each size and you're getting three shadow boxes. So you're going to be able to create um, three of these beautiful shadow boxes. What I love about it is it looks super complicated, but you're going to be amazed at how easy it really is. So this is the shadow box and we designed this so that there's layers in here so that you can do a lot of easy dimension. This is how it looks in the back. You could add a card panel and address it to your front. So this is more like a centerpiece. Isn't that beautiful? A fall showcase. And here's another sneak peek I'm going to give you of the shadow box. Just to give you a little bit of an excitement for December. She used the shadow box. This was designed to remember Rajni. She glued it in the center and then wrapped it to create like a little closure. So she created the beautiful scene. This is the woodsy wonderland. These are not online yet, so this is just a peek. So I'll close this up and we'll show you how to do the shadow box. Okay, so um, for the shadow box, when you create with this, you pull it out of the pack and this is how it will look. So it's very easy to put together. You have these three fold outs. That's where your dimension will be created. So what you're gonna do to start putting this together is just kind of follow the fold lines. So just back and forth, add the folds, super easy. Actually, when I was training with the customer care team, um, they were like, Emily, I want to see how to do this. And um, they were like, man, it looks like the shadow box would be very, very uh, difficult to put together. <laughs> when we um, opened the packet and they saw it up close, they were like, oh, this is easy. <laughs> so, so we had a lot of fun with that. So you'll just bring that in. You have this tab and all you need to do is just pop this tab in, bring it up on the other side like that. And you could glue this at this point if you wanted to, to, to close that. So fold these tabs on the opposite side, bring that up, pull the tab over, and pop that through. And you've got that closed. So I actually like to just close three sides. And then at the very end, when I finish, I'll close the fourth side. That makes it when you're doing glitter, your glitter is not just trapped on the inside. Um, so that's my personal preference. So you glue all these edges together. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and cut a six by six panel and just slide it in. So you'll just slide that panel in and then you can decorate it however you like. And you'll see all these different uh, dimension down here. That's where you'll put like your little rocks, your little flowers to create like that little scene. So perfect for scenes or to kind of create that little fairy tale storybook. So, um, so that's kind of the gist of the shadow boxes so much fun. Um, so if you're looking online, you'll see a bundle called the fold out card and die bundle. Um, that one is on for a special Black Friday savings. So you're going to want to make sure you hit add to cart. If you're watching on our website, you can easily do that. If you're just joining us, we have a special live stream offer today where you get a free paper pad when you plug in the code free paper BF, which is B is in black, F is in Friday. So that's with a $100 purchase. So make sure that offer is valid until midnight tonight for our live stream viewers only. So make sure you take advantage of that. And um, we're going to share a little clip of behind the scenes footage we captured recently with a team. So it's not every day that I get to share um, some of the moments that 
that are created with a team. And for those of you that are new, you may not know, but Heartfelt Creations is a family owned company. My mom started the company when I was 11, which is like 19 years ago. You don't want to do the calculations on that. <laughs> so uh, she started in 19 years ago, and today all of my immediate family is involved. They have different roles that they play within the company. So I wanted to just get you to like see kind of behind the scenes some fun we had, and you'll also get to meet some of the team members. So take a look at the footage we captured at a fun fall party with the team. I want to feel at peace inside Be amazed by the simple things in life But I always have so much to do My mind is kept preoccupied When does the mash of start tonight? I want to feel that simple high When for a moment The world stops and I know There is no other way I move through life half awake To know and to really appreciate How could this be truly taste When for a moment The world stops and I know Why I exist My sense is clear and I know I love spending time with the team and when you look at this video it's also just a great um, time to remember to just like step back from everyday life and enjoy those moments with your family and your friends and so when you come in contact with any of our team from customer care or being at conventions live our team cares about you as the crafter our heart is that you ex have a great experience with all the crafting goodies that you get and that you have amazing fun because when you're crafting it's like the cares of this world just kind of disappear um, the next section of our live stream I'm really excited about um, we just launched the um, heartfelt creations art from the heart handbag now, you may have seen this online and thought to yourself, like, wait, what is this? This is your chance to get an up close and personal look at what this really is. And the purpose between, behind this is to allow you, as the paper crafter, to showcase what's important to you in the front of 
your handbag or purse. So if you look at this one, this is my personal handbag. Um, I have some of my favorite florals, which is the classic rose on the side, and then um, just a fun photo um, of my husband and I on our 10th anniversary trip. I have the charms on the side. Now one of the charms I embellished with the classic rose as well. That was the um, Inspire charm, just glued it on top, covered it with crystal lacquer, and this one has been bouncing through airports, traveling with me, and it's still looks very good. Um, so I personally like to have five charms on my handbag. Um, they come in a bundle of three or you can you can buy them individually. Um, but when you look at this, there's like a one inch clear pocket. So you can showcase what's important to you. Um, on the back there is a beautiful pocket that you can showcase like a large photo. So this is my immediate family along with our spoiled toy pooch Chanel um, and there's this beautiful art from the heart just kind of embossed into the handbag. This is a pretty large handbag. What I love about it is kind of like a designer handbag without the designer price. So um, the center you have a large pocket and then you have the cell phone pockets in a great space, like my iPad fits perfectly in here. Um, in fact, when you use this bag and you go through the airport, I've noticed that TSA or the security guys don't give me the stink eye. They actually ask me about my handbag and they're really excited about it. Um, so this is one variation um, of the handbag. Um, I'm gonna pull up a couple of different ones that I have. So it's available in the, the black, or the fuchsia color. So this is another one. Um, and what I love about these is they're designed so that you can also use the pocket and flip fold inserts E that we just released. So if you're like say a grandma or a mom and you wanna uh, showcase your kids or your grandkids in this um, handbag, you can create this little uh, little flip book that when you're out and about, you can easily open it up and you can have this fun photos on the inside of your family, of your grandkids, um, or say if you have a, a dog that you want to showcase a special moments that you capture, like Winnie did. She did a toy, uh, like a, uh, not a toy, a party with her uh, doggies for her first birthday. So that's what um, we have in this front purse. So you can do just add whatever is important to you in the front. Um, I'm also going to um, share the handbag that um, my mom, Linda, who is the CEO of Heartfelt Creations. This is hers. So she has one with some extended family members. Her favorite flower is the classic rose as well. Um, and she just has a true beauty, some roses on the outer edges. And then on the back, she happens to have the same photo I do. <laughs> so, um, so those are just some fun ways to work with this, uh, but you don't just, you, you um, don't want to just think like, say, um, you can only use this for paper crafted projects. I have a lot of friends um, that like sell different types of products. So um, I just grab some essential oils and I pop them in the bag. So if you have something that you sell or that you want to promote, this is a great kind of like window. It's kind of like think about it as your uh, store window where people walk by. It's a great conversation piece. So this one, I just pop some oils in real quick so you could kind of see that. Um, this is also... Um, Linda's handbag. She has a huge rose on the charm and that's just on the back of the Inspire charm. So the uh, handbags today, there is a 20% discount on these. Uh, they're available in the black and the fuchsia. And when you look at these online, they also have like this over the shoulder strap and all the dimensions and all the details of that are listed. Um, but when you um, shop for this, you have the option of black or fuchsia. Today, you get the three charms with the bundle as well and you get like a 20 percent discount which is an amazing value for you today so um, tell me what you love about the handbag or some of the ideas of what are going through your mind and what you'd like to use it for i was even thinking like say a bride that just got married or that grandma that you just don't know what gift to give her for christmas and the holidays are right around the corner so it would be an amazing gift to give um, somebody in your life that really likes to showcase special moments so those are some fun ways to work with those. Um, now, if you are just joining us um, for the live stream today, this is our time to interact together. Um, you can email me at studio at heartfeltcreations.us. 
and tell me what you love about the products you just saw. Um, like which one's your favorite and tell me why. Like I love to hear what, you, what your ideas are and what you're going to do with them. And if you have questions, this is your time to get those answered. Or if you have like a story that you want to share of what the crafting has done for you, I would love to hear that as well and this will be our chance to interact together. So we have one more bundle of products that we debuted this morning. And this is just like a package of uplifting um, sentiment stamps that I absolutely love. I was just stamping these out earlier and I was like, oh my goodness, these are so beautiful. This one's the Courage and Strength, and I stamped these out. Like I was saying, I was just stamping them out earlier. I wanted to just show you how beautifully they um, stamp as an image. You can just stamp it in whatever color you like. The imprints are just amazing. Um, so it's great for journaling. It's faith-based. Um, these stamps will instantly just bring a smile to whoever you're giving it to. So some of these I stamped a little bit of a pastel color so you can kind of see how that looks versus say a darker color here's one um, that i love with the three colors together so you could color these if you just stamp them in black and these are available as a bundle price today as a black friday special after today they're all going to be individual um, so make sure that you get those in your card as well see the beautiful text how beautifully that just um, stamps out. Here's one I love with the eagle. You could cut out pieces and kind of decoupage it together. Um, so those are some fun fun things. So we have three different bundles today. We've got our die and fold out card bundle. We've got the handbag and the charm bundle available in black and fuchsia. And then this um, uplifting scripture stamps as well. So each one of these comes with their own unique savings that is a special for Black Friday only. And if you are um, per placing that order right now with a hundred dollar purchase, you get a free paper pad of your choice. You're going to use lots of papers with these fold out cards. So we wanted to make sure you get the paper that you're wanting. Um, just add the code free paper followed by B as in black. F as in Friday. Um, so you'll get that with your um, with your shipment. So um, before we go into your emails, I can't wait to see what you emailed in and read off some fun stories. Um, you can email that to studio at heartfeltcreations.us. Before we do that, I wanted to show, show some more samples to get your creative juices going so that when you um, get these, you're, you're off to a head running start. This one is really elegantly designed, the grays and the uh, red roses. We've got the beautiful sentiment set with the butterfly. Here she actually trimmed that out and it says all things are possible, which I absolutely love. Um, so there's cluster. So this one is more of a uh, centerpiece card so that just sets beautifully on your counter. And I'll just bring out a bunch of these so we can look at them all together. So from very elaborate to more simple ones, here's another one. This one's done with the fuchsia. This one, she glued some of the layers together. Here one's the under the sea. This one has been a proven favorite all year round. Tell me, do you have the under the sea collection? That one's beautiful. Here's one that um, just added a couple accent roses with the beautiful paper and the border dies. It says you're perfect. And then you've got some little doggies in there. Life is better with you in it. So you can really do some fun little surprises and, and tell a story when you're creating these cards. Here's some fishies. They've got their eyes sequined. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so that just pulls out. Very interactive. Oh, I forgot to tell you. In the shadow box one we just did, um, some of my design team members have been putting a clear acetate on, which I think would be really cute to add like kind of like a shaker card with the under the sea. So it would create like a little under the sea theme with maybe floating fish and some fun elements in there. The fold out cards can also be used on the inside of your card. So you don't just have to use it on the as a card base. This is a fun fold out from the inside. And here again, this has opens from the front and you've got the border dies on the, each side along with the sentiment in the center. And I made a quick little uh, puppy card with this as well. Basically, it's just the puppy papers in the background, some flowers and the puppies as an embellishment. Pull that out and you've got your card. So whether you like quick and easy or you like something elaborate, you're going to be able to do both with these. 
I don't know about you, but I love versatility um, in my paper crafting. I don't like to just be stuck with one way to do something. So that's what we always strive for when we launch those products is it needs to be versatile. It needs to be used a lot of different ways. So it gives you options and you're, you can do, use it so many different ways. Bring that out. I've got a couple more samples. These are um, some of my favorites as well. My basket's getting empty. <laughs> so we've got the little sentiments. This one was with the classic rose paper. Here we've got it with the borders, the fold-out cards. So a lot of these um, dies and the fold-out cards that we released today just pair beautifully with the stamps and dies that you have been purchasing um, this year. This one is cut out one of the sentiments in the oval. And if you love white on white with a little bit of silver, there's the, the borders with pop dots. So very elegant, very dimensional. Um, the flowers are done on vellum on this one. Here's another one with the sentiment as a focal with some glitter in the background paired with the dimensional lilies. If you don't have the lilies, you may want to pop those in your cart today too. They are so much fun and you can do some fun statements in the middle of those. Here's another one with a sentiment on vellum. So don't think it, don't forget about embossing on vellum with these. So much fun. I wanted to show you the little uh, shadow box froggy one too. Oh, this one's so cute. Oops, this one's, there, there you go. See, there's a little scene with the grass and the little froggies. So this one, you could use the stamps. You could use the cutouts from the paper. This one has a clear acrylic on the top. You could add your card base on the back. Wouldn't that be a fun gift? So we're going to pop that back up and we're going to go into answering your questions. So I'm going to answer a, some of your questions for just a little bit. Um, if you haven't sent an email yet, you can send that to studio at heartfeltcreations.us. Tell me which one of the products was your favorite, what you're most excited about, or tell me a quick story about what crafting does for you. And if you have some questions, just um, shoot those over as well and we'll get those answered for you live. So we'll switch gears a little bit here. Um, one of the first things I was going to do is just to share two stories that came across my desk recently from some paper crafters that I've actually had the privilege of meeting. Um, I had the privilege of meeting um, Marla from Cedar Owens, uh, not Cedar Owens, <laughs> Cedar Rapids, Iowa, earlier this year. She was here for a tour and she just wrote in and this is what she said. She said, I'm so thankful for you and your company. When I started making cards three years ago, there wasn't much in my supplies for making beautiful cards. And she says, the Lord led me to you and your beautiful products and tutorials. She said, I am so thankful he did. So much has been learned and applied to my card making since those first days of crafting. She said, your tutorials and products have totally changed how I make cards and other items. She says, for me, making cards is a ministry. You never know who will be blessed by the card you make and give to them. Um, she said, I've seen many faces light up after giving them their card. There have been several people tell me that they were having a rotten day and when their card arrived in the mail, the card gave them encouragement and joy. Um, a few people tell me my cards have really improved throughout the years. Have you had people tell you that too? <laughs> um, they tell me they look professional. I tell them it is all in the kind of products you buy. She said, you can't go wrong with Heartfelt Creations. These are the most beautiful, elegant products. They're simply the best. And she says, I have, um, she, she loves the quality and um, with Heartfelt Creation stamps, you get that. And uh, she absolutely loves it. So another one, this is from, this one, was, let me see, this one was from Maggie. Maggie is from Canada. Uh, Maggie is a registered nurse. And she said, I have been a registered nurse for 40 years. Woohoo, shout out to nurses. You guys are awesome. Um, she says, Heartfelt Creations saved my life and my sanity. She said she lives in a small town hospital and she works in a small town hospital in Pincher Creek in southern Alberta, Canada. Do I have quite a few Canadians watching today? Are you guys snowed in already? Um, I hear you guys get a lot of snow. Um, she says, when I say small town, I mean we only had 22 active treatment beds, but we are very active emergency. She said, um, we were very busy. We live close to a ski hill, lots of recreational activities and facilities, and a national park. Um, she says, 
that when somebody came in to have a baby or somebody was coming in with a heart attack, they had to just deal with it because they had two RNs on the shift and it was crazy. Um, she says, we're from a small town, so they knew everybody and everybody knew them. So it was incredibly difficult to, to work with the patients because not only were they treating them, but they also knew them. So she says that um, the burden was pretty hard to bear, but she found a way of decompressing all the hurt and pain that came from within by scrapbooking and making flowers. Isn't that awesome? And then she said the most, the biggest positive aspect was that she could really do something to get her through the dark times from her work. And she said, I honestly don't know if I could make the night myself as I would have my clinics as handy, my flowers were ready to shape and color on my little portable table. She said, I would take a big deep breath. She says, how can you just not smile with a simple flower that you made and color that was so beautiful? She says, it could be so rough and the color not coming out right. But she says, thank you, Heartfelt Creations, for giving me a brighter side to some darker times and darker experiences that she was having. She said, working with my hands gave me rest. It gave me a time to reflect in a positive way. And um, all those flowers came in very handy in so many ways. I love hearing your stories and what paper crafting does for you. So at any time, you can write in your stories, and we would love to hear that. So I'm going to read off some of your questions. I may not be able to get to all of them, but we will um, do our best. So we have one from Stormy. Um, hang on a second here. Stormy says... Actually, this is Stormy and Carrie. Hi, Stormy and Carrie. Um, she says, when are you coming to a show in Washington State? We are in the process of posting our um, 2017 show schedule very soon. And I do think Washington is on the list. So keep an eye out for that. She said, oh, you said we would love to meet you. I'm not sure if I'm going to be there, but I'll have a team there that will take amazing care of you. They have been trained. They travel. They demonstrate. They absolutely love showing you how to work with the products. She said, love all the heartfelt products. Can you tell me more about using the new dyes in scrapbooking? Um, if you go back and you watch like the first part of the live stream, um, I showed a scrapbook page that you can do those continuous borders. Actually, let me just pull that out right away. I have, um, let me see if I can find it you know what it's disappeared the scrapbooking has gone bye-bye um, but you can do those um, borders continuously um, so you can do a continuous border across a 12 by 12 page so that's very beautiful because the ends don't cut off that's a great question okay so we have sorry um, from Finland she says I love your products and I'm selling them here in Finland to my customers and they love the heartfelt creations products a shout out to Finland you guys are awesome and Joyce. Hi, Joyce. It's good to see you. Um, Joyce says, I love the pre-folded cards and borders, and I have a story for you. I love stories. Um, I have been stamping with my five-year-old granddaughter since she was three. She loves my crafting space and is always exploring. She spotted your peacock stamps and had to have it stamped. She picked out the ink she wanted. I let her use my sparkle pens, and I was shocked. She never colored. Oops, I bounced. Um, she never colored inside the lines in her coloring book, but with an intricate image she loved, she did great. Now I know what she really is capable of. She loves my Under the Sea collection and is learning how to compose scenes. Thank you for the wonderful inspiration and quality stamps. That's amazing. Yes, if you have kids, if you have grandkids, it's a great way to just get them involved in your crafting. Put them on the floor even with like some paper and tell them to ha just have some fun. It's a great way to keep them out of trouble. Okay, so we have one from, let me see, from Terry. She says, I am loving the new products. Hi, Terry. And I want it all. I'm wondering what the best solution you found is for cut, getting clean, intricate cuts. Sometimes I need to use to shim the center of some dies. And I see you're using the Tim Holtz machine. Does an electric machine help with that? That's an awesome question, and I get that quite a bit, like, you're using these intricate dies and there's a spot in the middle that's just not turning out correctly. I have a video called the intricate how to cut with your intricate dies that really kind of troubleshoots on what to do that gets you the best results when you're cutting out. Um, the dies that we just released today run those through your die cutting machine lengthwise, but these are pretty narrow 
so the the pressure of the machine is really hitting it well because the blade the rollers are going the opposite direction so um, make sure to watch that video if you're having some issues with your die cutting machine and shimming it um, we have an email from bobby from california she said which type of tape do you use to adhere the paper um, that does okay which type of tape do you use to adhere to the paper to cut the paper with okay um i used I am using a Scotch uh, low tack artist tape. I was using like a blue painter's tape earlier too. Um, those work very good as well. So if you go to like your local uh, Home Depot around here, we've got Menards um, paint, blue painter's tape will work good as well. So that's an awesome question. Um, Stormy uh, email back in and she said, I wanted to say thank you. Um, being my mom has been able to again create wonderful cards and scrapbooking pages that's amazing she's diabetic and losing her sight so it makes it hard but your product has helped her do so much more than she was able to do with ease that's amazing I love hearing that that's so awesome and Janet oh my goodness Janet I have your beautiful project right here in the design room right behind the camera it was awesome um, Janet said I'm so in love with all of these amazing new products and I have a question what did you finish the roses with that are hanging on the outside of the beautiful bag? They look very shiny. I used a crystal lacquer. Some people call it glossy effects or glossy accents. So it's like the clear coating that you put on top of like a stamped image to make it look glossy and like say fruit. It's kind of like a clear fingernail polish. So that just goes on top. It seals it and it's, it um, holds up very well. I was very pleased. So if you're... Um, looking online and you want to buy a bunch of the Inspire charms just separately, you could make your own embellishments and charms for different projects like your ultra projects and fun things like that. So um, we've got an email from Dawn from Texas and she says, how do you stamp on vellum, vellum with it appearing white? I like to stamp with the frost white color box chalk ink and heat emboss with the frost it's not frost white embossing powder but it's white embossing powder by ranger we have those on our website so if you just type in frost white or white embossing powder those will pop up those are my two favorite combinations for that and um, we've got an email from isabella okay isabella from switzerland hello it's beautiful in switzerland i've been there and i love it um, thank you for sharing about your company how beautiful team the team here is absolutely incredible we have so much fun working together bringing you um, the paper crafting projects he said the new dies are really great to embellish everything i've ordered them and i'm very glad to receive them thank you for these many examples of inspiration shown in the video my question how many layers of paper of your collection can i cut all at once um, that does depend on your machine like if you're just using like the the plain die cut shape that I was using earlier like if it's very uh, simple design like just kind of a straight edge you can usually do two to three cuts depending on your machine it does depend it, it really varies from machine to machine so you can always try like maybe two layers if it cuts maybe had the third layer and just kind of experiment with it that's kind of how I how I do it here so um, so so yeah so that brings um, our time together to it's kind of closing down it was great to hear from each one of you thank you for watching um, again the the specials that you're seeing if you're watching on the website are only available today Black Friday November 25th and when you place an order today of over a hundred dollars I have a special uh, coupon code just for you if you enter free paper then the word the letter B as in black F as in Friday so free paper BF um, that will get you a free paper pad you need to make sure you add it to the cart and after you've reached hundred dollars and that will take it automatically for you so thank you so much for being part of the heartfelt creations crafting community we love being able to interact with you have an amazing holiday season together with your family together you and I make the world a more beautiful place one paper crafted project at a time